So everyone already knows by this point that I love unconventional and goofy tanks. This is Object 775 and it's goofy for a few reasons. First of all, yes your aspect ratio is correct, it is just that flat. But it's also essentially frontally invulnerable to most of the things that it fights. I suspect this will be very funny to play, at least for me, not so much for our enemies. So yeah, let's try it out. My plan is to just be as aggressive as possible so that the enemy doesn't really know how to react. I'm taking the Viking Berserker approach. Well, that's not good. Magic missile! <laughs> uh, I don't think he was paying very much attention. Okay, that Bradley is kind of scary because he can negate our advantage. Um, again, if he's paying attention, which he was not. I was going to say, if he has top attack, he can just, uh, ignore our armor completely. Hold up, is that... Okay, no, it's a decapitated starship turret. Hold your horses. I am really not used to these, uh, gun-launched ATGMs. There we go. I think there's a guy over there somewhere. Yep. Merkava. Uh, I don't know if we can actually, like, pen him anywhere. It looked like we penned him there, but it didn't do any damage. Let's replenish a few missiles. Wow, that replenishes really quickly. I, uh, I don't know if it should be <laughs> replenishing that fast, unless it's, um, automatic. Hold up, is there a guy behind us? Helicopter, helicopter. Why did that sound vaguely like a tank? Okay, man. <laughs> Alright. I think this one might be a down tier. Again, I have no idea how to tell what BR I'm at if I'm playing a tank destroyer. Uh, yep, this looks like an 8.3 game, I think. Again, my plan is going to be to just run right in. Thank you. I will have to be careful around all these, like, fences, though. I can't imagine the missile will be very useful going through those. Ooh. Yep. Our armor sure is working. There we go. Yes, turret wiggling is very, very scummy. I fully acknowledge that, but I am trying to be as much as a goblin as possible. I am not trying to hide that. Wow, that was a really bad shot. Thankfully, he appears to be distracted by the PT-76. Some kind of light tank over here. That sure doesn't sound very light. Ah. I sure hope that he can't shoot through that building. I know his barrel is poking out. Okay, nope. We're good. Now, where is the other thing that was over here? No, thank you. I think there's, uh, a Gepard or something? No, thanks. <laughs> that guy really wanted to kill me. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> that guy couldn't even, like, do anything to me, I don't think. There's no way you're aiming a Bradley that accurately to hit my weak spot. Especially at that range. Did I say aiming a Bradley or aiming a toe? I feel like I said Bradley, but I don't know. I meant to say toe. It is a bit funny that even in this, I was, like, slightly intimidated by that, uh, that turn three. Oh, no, you don't. I'm the king of ATGM vehicles around here. <laughs> um. Uh. What? <laughs> what happened? Okay, there we go. Like, something down in the river, maybe. What is doing that? Oh. Yep, I was right. And my teammate was not helpful at all. So yeah, definitely not invulnerable. You just have to double team it from <laughs> completely different directions. So someone can shoot it in the side. Now let's take care of this uh, Sergeant York, wherever he is. 
It'd be funny if he killed me like immediately with overpressure stacking. Hey, bud. Now let's uh, inform this bug light who the new king of 9.3 is. <laughs> the panicked firing. <laughs> thing is, right? He didn't even hit us in a bad spot. It just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well. I see something coming to bomb. Uh, is there anywhere I can hide where I'm not gonna get eaten by that plane? Run! Run away! Okay, he specifically went for me, not even the cap. Gotcha. Did I just catch you having fun? You know what this tank reminds me of? It's like Tom from Tom and Jerry after he gets crushed by an anvil. That's <laughs> that's this tank. Where is their team at, man? Like I pushed really hard and I just don't see anybody. If this uh, if this fence could fall down, nope. Okay, yep. <laughs> All right, yep. Guess we got a battering ram. Um... What? What happened? <laughs> what? I'm... I'm still speechless, man. I don't know what happened there, but I am incredibly frustrated. Please, reload. Okay. Um, I don't even want to back into this guy because <laughs> I might blow myself up again. Jeez Louise, man. These missiles are so inconsistent. That was way too scary. <laughs> the decals on his tank certainly didn't help. I keep forgetting that ATGMs are really annoying to use now. And this is the gun-launched version, you know, the Soviet gun-launched version, which isn't even annoying. Like, a toe is just infuriating. Oh boy, here I come. Uh... <laughs> Running into a building and losing all of my speed makes it, um... Lose its comedy a bit. Hi. It's weird, like at close range you have to aim up. It's difficult to remember in the spur of the moment. A drone just pointed to their spawn, which like, yeah man, it's their spawn. It can pretty much be assumed that there are tanks in it. Is that... A Gepard turret? Yes, it is. Okay, I thought maybe it was a hold down Gepard. Oh! <laughs> what? What even killed him? He just, like, ceased to living. Oh, it's a BMP-2. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm surprised this has as much gun depression as it does. I thought this would have, like, negative one, not negative five. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> It just, it ceased to exist. Uh, that will never get old. That was honestly, best thing Gaijin has added in a long time. Oh. Ooh, hello. Um. I hope that was the thing that just shot me. That exploded. What are these Tams doing? <laughs> that, that one was just looking straight up at the sky. Hey man, what's up? <laughs> You want some? I did see a Sheridan, and I kind of want to go kill that, because I feel like that would be <laughs> just bullying. Oh, it's already dead. Apparently there's a 
bad guy right there. And something just shot this term right in front of me, so I'm going to get into an alleyway very quickly. Oh, the enemy spawn is over there. I thought it was... <laughs> I thought it was over there. That makes a lot more sense. So I guess we were actually just spawn camping people earlier. <laughs> I did not know that. I feel kind of bad. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Th they coordinated. That's so unfortunate, man. He was still invulnerable. <laughs> I feel like this map is very common in this BR range. It seems like every BR range has, like, its map, you know? 7.7, .7, it seems like it's Finland. Ooh. You don't see me. Nope, nope, nope. Big mistake, pal. <laughs> uh... Where did he even pen us? <laughs> that's, that's very stupid. On my part, not on his part. I'm just wondering how he managed to pen us, but not kill one of my two crew members. Yeah, man, I would leave too. I don't blame you. Ooh, that guy is absolutely hauling. Uh, I should be able to just shoot your driver, like so. I don't know where that other shot came from. Ooh. I could actually see that guy, but I'm very stupid and didn't see him. Okay, I am very much dead here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, at least I could get one of them. 1v3. The, uh, the Soviet teams in this BR range don't seem to be very good. It seems to be a large influx of 2S38 players that literally just bought it yesterday. Where is the enemy team at? Most of them are still there. Just, no one's doing anything. Ah, uh, that's what they're doing. Okay. Can I see that guy? Uh, yes. It's just a striker, so it blended in. It looked exactly like a building. <laughs> Let's get some extra gun depression. Yes, this does have a hydro pneumatic suspension system. Not that you'll ever use it, really. There's actually two things. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't bomb- wait, that's a scout drone. I just- I see flying object and I assume that I'm going to die in the next minute. What is this SPAA that my team is having a lot of difficulty killing? A chaparral? Come on, guys. Oh, that guy just popped in. I really wish they would, uh, improve that in this game. I feel like it doesn't actually- do a whole lot to deter cheaters, if that makes sense. Now what is this thing that was shooting me over here? Um... Okay. There we go, jeez. Was he firing Hesh at me? Yeah, I don't think, uh... I don't think Hesh is the optimal round to be using <laughs> against something like this. Could be wrong. Oh, I see my doom is approaching. What on earth was my missile doing? <laughs> I hear an Abrams. Oh, it's uh, friendly. Okay. <laughs> he took the bait. Uh, I like that he just stared in disbelief. I hate to be a downer, but top tier gameplay is very, very boring to me. Oh, <laughs> well, you're done, so now, bud. <laughs> there we go. 
I claim this cap in the name of me. So yeah, that's Object 775. It's a very strange vehicle, obviously, but from a balance perspective, it's very strange too. In down tiers, it doesn't feel fair at all. In up tiers, it feels very lackluster. So I'm not really sure what you could do with this, honestly. I feel like it's one of those vehicles that probably just shouldn't have been added. It is equally fun and frustrating in my experience. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.